I'm going to show you a good one today, but you better be careful with it because your neighbors find out you know how to make them. They're going to be knocking on your door at midnight wanting them. Let's make some stuffed alligator pears. Let's get started. Got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to season them really well with a Cajun seasoning. I'm going to use Cajun two-step. Use whatever you'd like. Add your little oil to the pan. I'm just going to lay this chicken in here and pan sear it till it's cooked through. Chicken's done. We're going to pull it out, let it cool, and then we're going to dice it up real small. Got our chicken diced up. We're going to add eight ounces of shredded pepper jack cheese. We'll add about two tablespoons of this jalapeno pepper puree from Louisiana Pepper Exchange. It's a great alternative to a fresh pepper if you don't have any. Now take your alligator pear. You just want to cut it in half. Get it cut in half and you want to peel the skin off of it. You got it peeled. You just want to take and scoop some of it out. You want a hole in there about like that. It doesn't go all the way through. This is the filling we scooped out of our alligator pear. We're just going to incorporate all this really well. Mix it all together good. Now you want to take your filling and you want to pack it full. Got it filled up about like that. And then we're going to just press it back together. When you get it pressed back, it should look like this. I've got some flour I seasoned with that two-step. We're going to go in here first. Then I'm going to roll it in some buttermilk real good. And then into some seasoned panko breadcrumbs. We're going to get a good coating all over it. i got my airless fryer heated up to 350. We're just going to drop them down in there. They're golden brown. That's what they ought to look like. Let's cut it open. Only thing it needs now is some of this Zippy Zap on it. The pre-order link for the five ounce Zippy Zap is now on my bio page if you have any interest in it. See what this thing tastes like. Mm-mm. That's a really good one right there.